So I've got nothing attached to the radio except for the DNC connector and the antenna, which are on battery. And it currently has the altimeter turned on and turned off. So if we change the frequency just a bit by spinning the dial here, we go to an area where nothing's going on. Then we switch to AM. And then in AM, there's, there's actually a push to talk button on the top here. I'll just go ahead and show you real quick. That's the push to talk right there. Uh, not, not really loud, so it's hard to see, but we push it. And you see the uh, power level was at 5 watts, 100%. So I'm going to change the meter back to SWR. So we push that once, now we're on SWR. And when I do the push to talk, we'll see that the SWR is at 2 to 1. And that's 10. So now we'll turn off the auto tuner. Auto tuner is now off. And we push that, and the SWR is way high. And I'm going to switch to 40 meters. It's on 40 meters. We'll go ahead and uh, go to a dead area. And we'll switch over to AM. And then on AM, we'll turn the alpha antenna for the peak noise. Once you're at the peak noise, you're just about tuning. And then as we do the push to talk, we're below 3 to 1. And we can fine tune that. It takes a little bit of effort to pull that off. So here's the X50 North Drive HF transceiver with a built in battery. 100% here. It has an auto tuner built in. Currently turned on and tuned. I'm using the Alpha Magnetic Loop Antenna, which is uh, configured for 40 meters right now. So I'm really not going to do much on um, 80 meters.
each one of them has two to four kids apiece. So. This which is between the SW Yeah, Randy, I got lights. I got the general. I don't know how long. It ain't been very long. So it's uh, still yeah. I scanned the band for a while. This is in the guy's talking on this channel. It's hard to see, but the uh, clean, internal mic is right clean there. And, uh, uh, a small little 